In this video, we're going to learn how to do element-wise math operations in Python. Now in Python, you'll often be working with sequence objects that have multiple elements th in them, like lists, arrays, or columns in pandas data frames, and you might want to perform operations on each element in two different lists, arrays, or columns based on the position of the elements. For instance, if we have two lists like this, list one and list two, that have the same number of elements, we might be interested in performing math on each element based on their index position. For instance, adding one to six, two to seven, three to eight, and so on, for two lists that are of the same length. So one way we can do this sort of element-wise math, if we're given two lists, is to use zip with a list comprehension. So here's an example of how we can do that. We take the two lists in question that we want to perform the element-wise math on. We zip them. So we say zip list one and list two. And what zip does is match up each element, one, six, two, seven, etc., and put them into a tuple. And then we can extract those in this list comprehension to perform the math. So basically what we're doing here is we're matching up each of the elements here. And then for each of those two things, we are adding them together. So L1 plus L2 for each of those matched up things. We wrap that whole construction in a list comprehension, and then the result will be a final list that is the element-wise operation that we put right here. In this case, we put plus, so we're adding the two elements. So when we run this, we will see a new list that is the element-wise addition of each of these two lists. Now we could put any other math operator here. So if we wanted to subtract them, we could just put a minus there. If we wanted to multiply them, we could put a multiplication symbol there. We could do anything. We could do a division. We could do exponentiation. So you can use this same construction and put in whatever, whatever math operator you want there to do element-wise operations on two lists. Now, if you're going to be doing a lot of element-wise math operations, you should probably be using NumPy or Pandas instead of base Python lists because they have this sort of element-wise math built in. So you don't have to use this longer and somewhat more complicated list comprehension method. So we'll show how we could do that below. So instead of using base Python lists, if we wanted to use NumPy arrays to do this, we could just import NumPy and then turn our two lists into NumPy arrays. So we're changing list one into a NumPy array and list two. And then once they're NumPy arrays, arrays will perform this element-wise math by default. So we just add the two arrays, list one plus list two, that will perform the same operation. And we see we have an array with the same result. And again, we could change this math operator to whatever we want. So we could multiply element-wise, we could divide element-wise, or do whatever else we need to do. And one final way we could do this is if we have our data in the form of a pandas data frame where we have different columns of data, we can do the same thing on two different columns. So we'll show how that would work. We're going to import pandas as PD. We're just going to turn our two lists into a data frame. So that's what this DF is doing. And then we can just use the columns of the data frames and add those together. So we're going to add the list one column plus the list two column, and we'll run that. And we can see the result is the same in terms of the values, but now it's structured as a column instead of a row because it's a data frame, but it essentially does the same element-wise math. So that's three different ways you can do element-wise math in Python based on if you're using base Python, NumPy, or Pandas. All the code for this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, you can drop a like or hit subscribe, and thanks for watching.